Okay, so I thought I'd bring you guys along on a little, uh, I don't know, a little ride along, I guess. Uh, see if we could find an abandoned building or two to film. I just went to one, and it's the hardest thing for me when I pull the door and it comes right open in my hand, and there's like nobody on site to give me any kind of permission, um, you know, to go in and film. And I just am not in a position in my life where I can chance walking in these places and getting arrested or getting fined. And it's not just a matter of getting in and getting out before you get caught. It's a matter of when somebody sees the video if they decide to press charges. This building could get demolished and then be gone. And in five years I could get a subpoena you know, that's just how it works if, you know, you're basically committing a crime and putting it on film. So, I don't know. I don't quite understand the people who do that. I know it makes good footage and a lot of the bigger YouTubers with, you know, hundreds of thousands, even millions of subs and plenty of views to, uh, to make tons and tons of money, they can afford it. You know, they can afford to go to jail for the night and get fined five hundred thousand dollars and just shell out the money but i can't <laughs> so we're gonna head over here where i believe there is an abandoned uh like railroad depot i drove past it one time and i wondered what it was and my girlfriend was with me <laughs> and i make her go with me on these adventures way too often. She always sits in the car and waits for me. Never complains. But I don't like to do that to her. So go see if we can find this place. First though, I see an old Pepsi sign. Let's get a shot of this. This sign is pretty awesome here. Let's see if we can get a shot from the other side too. The, the lighting might be better. Check this out too, right across the street from uh, from the Pepsi sign is an old freight station which apparently is still in operation. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of, uh, of old buildings down in this area. So let's go see what else we can find. Okay, this is kind of strange. I'm not really sure what to make of this, but Apparently in that little building there, they also make pizza. Um, <laughs> there was a lady talking to me who came by to go in that little club there with the Pepsi sign. And it's kind of hard to understand what she was saying, but I swear she said, have you ever tried their pizza? It's delicious. And I'm like, no. But I did notice when I was over there that there's a sign on the outside of the building that says something about the pizza place or something. You know, like parking is only for people for that pizza place. But that's the only sign. I didn't see any other kind of sign. That's that's strange. If there's a pizza shop inside there, that's really crazy. I'm going to have to look that up. I think I know where I'm going to get to this uh, this railroad depot. And I have to pass a, a dam down here to do that. So I think I will stop and get a couple shots of the dam. I don't know why, just because it's cool. I like waterfalls and stuff like that. Something else cool here I want to look at first. The painting on the side of this building here. I've always wondered what's in this building. Looks like part of it might have been like an old tobacco ad or something. And the old reliable, I'm not sure what that is. I can't make out what it says up there. Some more marking on the other side of the building here I'll get. Uh, but if any of you watching are from this area, I'm in Eurexville, Ohio. And you know anything about this building, let me know. 
I'd love to know what at least used to be in there. I would love to get inside there and film a little bit at some point. But it looks like it's just completely abandoned now. There used to be a church down below. And it kind of looks like everything has totally vacated out of there at the moment. So I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But let me get another shot over here for you. Okay, so this is amazing, guys. There's a lady out here doing some yard work, and the story I just got about this building is incredible. Um, she gave me a name, I believe the name was George Crest. She said that he used to own that, and it was an automobile dealership. She said this down here was all like a big showroom for all the cars. Up in here was a really immaculate apartment building, and apparently his wife was an opera singer in New York. And when they left this, apparently the cars stayed in there for a long time and there were vines growing all over and the cars had dry rot. That's amazing. I'm going to have to do some research on this name and, uh, and see what I can come up with. But that is, that's an even better story than I ever expected to get about this building. That's awesome. Let's just come across here and get a shot inside the windows here for the heck of it since we're in the area and before it starts raining. Now there are a couple of different uh, businesses, I guess, in the front here. Oh crap, here comes the rain. But I'll give you a quick shot of those. If I ever have a brick and mortar store, I definitely want to have some windows like this so that I can set up awesome displays in there. Let's take a look inside here. Yeah, this is all connected to, uh, you know, through here, if you can see that. Like where I got a shot from the other side of the building there. Crap, the rain is really coming down now. Now I'm going to have to get soaked. Well, I moved as fast as I could through the rain there with my crippled leg here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue on to see if I can't find this railroad uh, depot. Okay, I think I found it here. Um, it's definitely an abandoned depot. I'm not sure if it's the B&O or not, but I'm gonna get out and take a couple pictures even though it's raining. All right, I can't, all right, I can't help it. There's a open door over here. I just wanna go peek in. Yeah, there's some bricks stacked up over here where people have gone in there before, and I would love to. Um, this is a little bit different than, than a retail building, so, I mean, if it weren't for my leg, yes, I'd be going in there. But here's another little uh, place here connected to it, or at least it belongs to it. Doors open. Let's take a look. Well, that's the best we're going to get of that right now. Let me go around and get a shot from the other side here. I'm already wet. Ooh, you can hear that thunder coming. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, one day when my leg is all healed up and it's not pouring down rain, well, I don't know, actually I don't care if it's raining or not, but one day when my leg is healed up, we'll go back to that station and, and I'll climb up in there. I'm just curious what's in there, how it looks. So, 
All right, the rain's really starting to come down now, so we'll just call it a day on this. It was a fun little adventure, you know, a fun little uh, ride along. And if you guys like this and you'd like to see some more, let me know and, um, and we'll do some more. This was, uh, this was pretty cool. I'll see you guys later. Peace.